NMI has a collection of APIs that merchants can use to run transactions on their accounts. These APIs are really powerful and are flexible to allow merchants to do really whatever they want, whatever environment they're working in. We have an API that can help them take payments. Our primary API for this is what we call the direct post API. And this is just a way to send transactions to the gateway. You can do transactions, you can access recurring, you can access invoicing, you can access the customer vault. You can access basically everything that's in a merchant account. You can do it from the direct post API. Now, not only is the direct post API the most powerful API for running transactions, it also is the most flexible. You can use this in web apps, you can use it on a mobile app, you can use it on a desktop app, you can use it basically wherever you are. The only thing that the merchant needs to be able to do is to post data to an endpoint. And basically every platform out there is going to let you do that very easily. If you're using the direct post on the web, then we also offer CollectJS. And CollectJS is a tool that can be used in conjunction with the direct post to collect customers' payment data in a secure way and in a way that the merchant never has to touch the data directly. So as the name implies, CollectJS will collect the customer's sensitive card info and then pass a token, a temporary token, back to the merchant. The merchant can then use that token in the direct post to create a new transaction, to add someone to the vault, or to create recurring. Anything you can use that card number to do normally can be done with the payment token. There's two other methods for collecting payments on the web. There is Collect Checkout, which is a new hosted payment page. Now this is gonna be mostly used by merchants in the control panel using our button generator tool, and that tool is going to let them create a button with zero code. But integrators can also create shopping carts that their customers can pay for all inside NMI's hosted page. And this page looks nice, it handles all the payment logic for the integrator, so they can offload some of that work in exchange for using the look and feel, using the payment flow that Collect Checkout uses. The final transaction API that is also for the web is the three-step redirect API. This API is kind of a legacy product, but it still works very well. It's an XML-based API that lets you run transactions, add to the vault, do recurring, all the things that direct post can do, but it does it in kind of a three-step process. It takes the merchant a little more out of scope, not as well as using CollectJS with the direct post, but it takes them a little out of scope of touching the credit card number, uh, which some merchants like. This API also supports 3DS, so if a merchant is using 3DS on the web currently, this is the API they want to use. And then we have ChipDNA, and ChipDNA is a product that is available to take card present transactions. So this is sort of an API, sort of an SDK, depending on how you're using it. But we offer several variants of this. There's chip DNA, and this is available for Windows and Linux apps. So if a merchant is building an app for either of those platforms, they could import the chip DNA SDK into their project and use one of our certified card readers to process transactions, EMV, Magstripe, Keyed, all of those. If they're building an app on iOS or Android, then they can download ChipDNA Mobile and do the same thing for those platforms. And our newest product is ChipDNA Cloud. And ChipDNA Cloud is a way for merchants to do card present transactions through an EMV card reader, but with so much less complexity than using an SDK. So this looks very similar from an integrator's perspective. This is very similar to the direct post, which is super simple to do. And it allows them to basically disconnect the card reader from the computer that's managing the transaction. So you could have your computer that starts a transaction in California and have the card reader in New York. Now you don't have to do this. This doesn't make sense for most people, but you can do that. It's disconnecting those things. You don't have to deal with Windows drivers. You don't have to deal with any of that complexity that comes with connecting a card reader to a computer and having that talk to your app. It's all web-based. It's all perfectly secure. The integrator never touches the card information here as well. It's always encrypted. And we've seen tons of success from people integrating to this much faster than they have with any local SDK. So this is really exciting. With all of these options, merchants have tons of flexibility to create the experiences they want for their customers and can do it incredibly quickly. We also offer numerous testing methods and test card numbers so that merchants can test their integrations in full end-to-end -end before they start using them for real. They can even toggle their account into test mode and 
do all of their development. Once it's working perfectly, all they have to do is turn off test mode in their account and they'll be running real transactions with the integration they know works well. And those are the transaction APIs that NMI offers.